to actually display some graphics. There are several different types of graphics that will be in a game. The first one is an animated sprite, like for a character. Each frame of the animation is in the same image file laid out in a sprite sheet like this. Similarly, there are tile sheets that aren't necessarily animated, but have all of the possible tiles for a level in the same image. And the last type would be something like a title image, where you use the entire thing and you're not going to crop out a particular tile or frame. Just to get you acquainted with a word you'll be hearing quite a bit, Blitting refers to two bitmaps being combined, such as drawing all the on-screen game images to a single buffer and then drawing that to the screen. Sprites and sprite sheets should always have a power of two dimension. Allegro can load sprites at irregular sizes, but only because Allegro does the work for you to resize the image file. Computer hardware reads image files at power of two dimensions. This might create unwanted extra space on your sprite, but you can make up for it in the code by specifying where the solid region will be for your collision detection. Before we get into the code, let me just quickly go over the concept on how to draw to the screen, as it can be confusing at first. In every game, after initialization, you go into a game loop. Every time through this loop, we check the input, update game elements, and then draw everything. For 2D games like this, you'll want to draw what is further in the background first. So we'll have the background tiles first, and then maybe items and characters. So draw the background, items and characters all to the buffer first. After that's done, draw the buffer to the screen with this function. And finally, if you're using Allegro, you'll need to clear the buffer. One thing Allegro will do for you automatically is to make the magenta color transparent. This color is 255 red, 0 green, and 255 blue, or FF00FF in hex. Also, without installing extra libraries, you can only use bitmap, PCX, TGA, and LBM files. In Allegro, your image types are called bitmaps. Before you use any graphics, you have to create them. You've already seen that we've used create bitmap for the buffer, but most images you will load from outside the game. You can do that with the load bitmap function like this. bitmap asterisk image equals load bitmap file name null. The null parameter is the palette, but you can keep this as null unless you're going to use a specific palette and not the full amount of colors available. Here's the code for drawing the image to another image which is our buffer. This function is similar to the one we use to draw the buffer to the screen, but it doesn't have a mask. Mask split, the image to draw, the destination image, the x and y coordinates on the actual bitmap to begin drawing from, the x and y coordinates to draw to on the screen, and the width and the height of the image. And now I've already gone over this, but I'm going to go over it again since it's in the drawing section. After everything has been drawn to the buffer, we're going to blit the buffer to the screen like this. Use the blit function, and again it's the image, the destination image, the x and y coordinates on the image file, the x and y coordinates to draw to, and the width and the height. After that, you want to clear the buffer. Always remember to use the destroy bitmap function for every bitmap that you've either created or loaded. Otherwise, you'll have memory leaks and your computer will slow down over time. So what's the difference between mask blit and blit? I was actually wondering this while writing the script for this tutorial. Masking has to do with the transparency, so I edited one of my programs and saw if changing masked blit to blit did what I thought it did. And it does. Using masked blit will automatically change that magenta color transparent. If you use just blit, then that won't happen and your characters will look like this. So that's about it for the graphics now. In the next video, we're covering loading and playing sounds. See ya!